Uh, Glenn been down at Penny Hill this afternoon with England training. Uh, how was that for uh, for our boys? <laughs> Intense. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was great. Uh, great opportunity for us to come down here um, and test ourselves, obviously, against the very best in the country. And uh, I think what it highlighted to us is the you know the sheer intensity that they can that they can play at uh, and the tempo in which they can put in the game. And we took a lot of learning from that. Uh, and I also think the the boys put an outstanding effort as well. Yeah. But we can come away from that, and you know, there's periods in there where we were really competitive as well. So. You know, I think we can come away and take a lot of confidence, but also see uh, what it takes to maybe play at that next level up or even two levels up. Yeah, obviously we've struck up a bit of a relationship with the England coaches over the last couple of years. It's fantastic for our players to be able to test themselves against, as you said, kind of best players in the country, isn't it? Yeah, no, absolutely. And and also for us to be able to you know, speak to the coaches as well about how they're operating at, you know, at this level. So as much for the, for the players, it's good learning for us as coaches as well. Um, you know, and I, I think you know, exposure as well for the players. Um, and afterwards, you know, they're, they're really welcoming yeah. and accommodating as well so you know they're all chatting afterwards and I know uh, Rain's going over and chatting some of the back row and yeah. the second one's really open with the line out calls so it's, it's, it's great learning for us and uh, you know it's a, we're, we're obviously very grateful for the opportunity. Yeah only two pre-season friendlies this year so it's kind of almost important as well to be able to get a hit out against another side wasn't it? Yeah no absolutely and we, we sort of said that over the course of the next two weeks we've obviously got a hit out today against England we've got uh, Bishop Stall for the weekend Rosalind the week after and um, we're sort of you know we want to make sure that everyone gets a, a, an opportunity opportunity to, to show what they're about you know the boys have grafted incredibly hard over pre-season and it's obviously looking then to see if we can transfer our plays uh, under extreme pressure and, and today was the most extreme yeah. of pressure that we're probably going to get all season so you know it was, it was great for us to take some lessons away from there uh, and, to, and to have a look at the boys first hit out you know we, we go against one another in training a lot of the time and uh, you all know each other's calls and sometimes that actually gets a little bit yeah. counterproductive yeah. whereas today obviously England probably know nothing about uh, what what we're doing, so it was it was great to test ourselves uh, with that. Yeah, obviously difficult against such uh, such high class players, but were there plenty of signs of encouragement as well? Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, I thought we were um, we were a little bit maybe sheepish at yeah. the start and I thought as we got into it we started to feel get a better feel for it uh, I thought Rain brought them in really well at one point and said listen lads you know the shoulders on yeah. uh, and as soon as we, we got that then uh, we had some great defensive sets to start with um, and, and the boys got stuck in I thought the effort was outstanding you know Rain and a few others have already come up to me and said that's the most intense session they've done all year and yet yeah, it was probably only ball in play it was probably only 25 minutes so you know it shows uh, it shows the levels that, that we're aspiring to and the reasons why we're training so hard as we are in pre-season, trying to trying to reach those real high peak game intensities. Yeah, real kind of appetizer. Is that wet, wet the mouth a bit for the games to begin again? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, massively. It's been a long pre-season yeah. already. <laughs> so I think the, the uh, players are obviously uh, chomping at the bit, but I think the coaches are as well. So, um, you know, we've only got three days and we've we're, we're, uh, got Bishop Storford at yep. home, so we'll, we'll be very much looking forward to that one. Yeah, just a bit of an update for the supporters, how we all, how we all go. And I think we're, what, four weeks out of the first, wait, four weeks exactly until the first Cup game. So uh, still plenty of time, isn't there? Yeah, oh, yeah. There's, there's loads of time and uh, you know I think we've, we've sort of done quite a lot of rugby from the off yeah. uh, and uh, you know we didn't have too many new boys coming in but I think the new ones that have come in have really integrated well into the squad um, and it, we brought them up to speed quite quickly and uh, there's a real hunger in the squad at the minute and I think now we're getting to those games there's, there's a real sort of competitive edge starting to streak in and, and that's what we want because uh, ultimately that's going to bring the best out of us all and, and, and get the performances that we're after.